So we first got involved with STEM learning a number of years ago and it was really related to a research projects around rockets in motion. Eventually um, we decided that we'd become a science learning partnership lead school and also the leadership of a computing hub. The development of the quality of the teaching and the expertise, the development of them as facilitators leading on the programme has been really, really powerful. We have done a lot of CPD and professional development and this has given the children opportunities that they wouldn't have had otherwise. STEM learning gives teachers that chance to grow professionally and to have that subject specific input from absolute experts in their field is absolutely critical to support teachers in that vital role that they play. It's a real selling point when we're talking to new staff coming into the school, when you're talking to teachers who are interested in professional growth and professional development as really a core of what we do. By providing them with different programmes, give feedback about how that went, uh, did it improve, and so on, and overall makes them want to stay in the profession. Where are we going to get the best quality resources? You can be reassured and you can get access to whatever you might need, particularly if schools are working with non-specialist teachers. Looking at those things that are available can be really, really helpful for schools. Where we've used this include the best evidence, which are a set of research-based resources to use in the classroom. Using them as diagnostic questions during the, the lessons is a really good way of finding out what the children do or don't understand about the topic. Also using STEM ambassadors, which are a fantastic resource, increasing children's engagement with STEM. Being able to connect to other teachers in other schools, identifying what CPD might be needed, what CPD is out there, is a huge benefit of the Science Hub. They receive accreditation and a CPD quality mark from STEM Learning and they are then able to deliver that training for us. It networks teachers and individuals who come together for CPD or even just to share best practice. The ability to coordinate and meet and network with those like-minded teachers it is that kind of thing that keeps pushing you on to what is next. You never settle because there's always something new. The Computer Science Accelerator programme is a, a brilliant programme to help those teachers in the classroom really put across that computing curriculum and bring it to life for their students. And I know of colleagues at my school who aren't even computing teachers that have engaged with and really enjoyed the programme because it helps them understand aspects of their own courses and their own subjects better. Well, we've overstaffed computing, overstaffed science to enable that wider system leadership role where they're actually out supporting and working with the schools. You look at those pockets of excellence within your staff and you think, we should be sharing that. It helps those teachers to have an, an alternative career path beyond just the classroom teaching. All the cogs interlink, everything is talking to everybody else. Everybody can be having the right CPD to build towards that single goal within the department. You know, our science technicians, for example, do a wonderful job and we want the right CPD for them as well. STEM learning provides that in bucket fulls and everybody in that sense feels invested in, feels valued and feels like they're really able to make a difference and improve what they do. Mm -hmm.